Hi, thank you for watching my video, let's start by focusing on God Jesus Christ and on his wish for us all, his followers, we must get rid, and discard the Old Testament, as we should discard every violence and every human abuse of any form and magnitude, we must develop and practice zero tolerance against psychopaths wherever they are, who they are, what status and position they are in. Let's apply and shine our good and brave teachers lessons. Today's is topic, when to listen, not compete, the art of giving the stage. In the bustling theater of life, we all crave moments where our stories are heard and our experiences acknowledged. Yet, in the eagerness to connect, we sometimes fall prey to the seductive trap of one-upmanship, reflexively sharing our own narratives to compete for attention. This essay explores the importance of stepping back, silencing the urge to top someone's story, and instead, becoming a receptive audience, offering the stage for their experience to truly shine. Sharing an important event is an act of vulnerability, laying bare a piece of ourselves to another. When someone chooses to share, they entrust us with their emotions, their joys, and their struggles. Interrupting this delicate dance with our own narratives, however well-intentioned, can diminish their moment. It subtly shifts the focus, transforming their story into a springboard for ours, leaving them feeling unheard and undervalued. True empathy lies not in relating to someone's experience through our own lens, but in holding space for their unique journey. This requires active listening, paying attention not just to their words, but also to the emotions and nuances that lie beneath. It involves validating their feelings, acknowledging the significance of their experience, and offering support without judgment. Think of a friend excitedly recounting a promotion, a parent sharing a child's achievement, or a partner confiding a personal struggle. In these moments, resist the urge to interject with your own similar experience. Instead, offer genuine congratulations, ask thoughtful questions, and simply be present. Your attentive silence speaks volumes, conveying your respect and interest in their unique narrative. Giving the stage isn't about passivity, it's about active engagement. Ask clarifying questions, delve deeper into their emotions, and offer support tailored to their specific needs. This creates a space where they feel heard, understood, and valued for who they are and what they have experienced. Of course, there are times when sharing a relevant personal anecdote can deepen understanding and forge a connection. However, the key lies in being mindful of timing and intention. Ensure their story is complete before weaving in your own, and do so in a way that complements and enhances, rather than overshadows, their experience. In conclusion, the art of giving the stage is a cornerstone of genuine connection and empathy. By quieting our own narratives and offering a space for others to share theirs, we create a world where stories are truly heard, emotions are validated, and connection flourishes. Remember, sometimes the most valuable thing you can offer is not your own story, but the gift of your undivided attention. If you like my video feel free to comment, I appreciate you, God bless you.